Today, we'll discuss Mailchimp's classic builder versus the new builder. Each has its pros and cons, and understanding this can help you choose the right one for your project. You can switch between the classic and new builders in the settings. Click on the profile icon, go to profile. Click on settings and then details. Scroll down to see the default email builder. First, let's talk about the interface. The classic builder has its tools on the right while the new builders are on the left. For a detailed tutorial on using both, check out our previous video. In this video, we'll cover the similarities and differences. The Neo Builder's layout width is 660 pixel, slightly larger than the Classic Builder's 600 pixel, giving newsletters a bigger appearance. In terms of customization, the Neo Builder offers more font options and features like Android options. It also allows easy integration of surveys and apps. Let me know if you'd like a detailed video on these features. A highlight of the new builder is the flexibility to add 1 to 4 columns dynamically. In the classic builder, you must choose your column layout initially, which can be limiting if your project needs change. Another advantage of the new builder is the ability to change the background color of an individual section. You can add as many background colors to a section as needed which is really helpful for projects that require multiple colors for multiple sections. On the other hand, the classic builder restricts background changes to specific areas. You can only change the background color in the pre-header, header, body and footer areas. Only these four areas. One major drawback of the classic builder is that we can't add a button directly into a section. For this, we must use custom HTML. However, Mailchimp has added this feature in the new builder. Now let's discuss the strengths of the classic builder. It generally offers better mobile responsiveness. The classic builder's image plus text block always shows the image first on mobile devices, regardless of its position. This layout ensures a more initiative and visually appealing experience, as users typically see the image before the text on mobile devices. So, mobile responsive is crucial. In contrast, the new builder displays blocks starting from the left on mobile. So, if you place an image on the left and text on the right, the image will appear first on mobile. However, if you place the image on the right and text on the left, the text will show up fast, which can't be changed. Unlike platforms like Klaviyo or Mosint, Mailchimp currently lacks an option to choose the order of display. Thankfully, both builders support custom HTML for these types of advanced design needs. But we hope Mailchimp will add these options in the future. In conclusion, if you need multiple columns and extensive customization, the new builder is a great choice. Just be mindful of mobile display issues, especially for these types of layouts. If you prefer a straightforward newsletter with effective image and text alignment on mobile, the classic builder is ideal. So that's pretty much everything about both builders. I hope this help you choose the right builders for your upcoming project. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. We are just starting on YouTube and your support will help us grow. Thanks for watching until the end. I'll see you in the next video inshallah.